Hi guys, it's France Papillon. Welcome to Journal on Monday, week 114. Enjoy! I'm working in my altered book today and for the first layer I'm applying a tiny bit of clear gesso just on one spot that I want to keep clear um, when journaling further on. Then using Donna Salazar's Mixed Media Inks Chucks, which is a permanent ink when heat set it, I'm stamping on that um, little patch of clear gesso. Quickly heat setting it and then using the Mixed Media Inks, which is the slow drying version uh, of the ink, I'm applying a tiny bit of color and then using a baby wipe I'm blending it. These inks by Donna Salazar might just become a new addiction of mine. Um, then using some masking tape I'm creating a mask, so I'm not really um, looking for a precise shape, I just want to keep some of the clear gesso visible underneath before I put the next layer on. And the next layer is Finovar's Art Basics Heavy Gesso which I'm first applying with a palette knife so that I have a bit everywhere and then using my brayer I'm spreading it out. Doing it this way will create a fun texture with, well depending on how hard you push on your brayer you will have a thick layer or thin layer. I'm leaving a thick layer on this one and I'm doing the exact same thing on the other side. Now that this is done, I can take my mask away before the gesso um, is dry. And as I have a pretty thick layer and I want to make sure that I can still close my book, I'm scraping some of the gesso in the middle away. I'm leaving this aside to dry because this will take quite some time, there is there is a lot of gesso on there. So meanwhile I can get my quote ready and I'm using one of my barcode texts um, using my stamp position so that I have the word exactly where I want to have it and again using uh, Donna's mixed media ink chalks I'm stamping the word that I want to have. Now I want to add a second word, so I'm using my alphabet and as you can see I'm wearing a scarf. <laughs> I have to admit that the weather shock after California coming back to snowy Belgium is quite, um, well, it's cold. <laughs> Quickly resizing my text so that it fits uh, the space that I, that I left for it. And then again I'm using the inks, so this is a slow drying version to add some interest to the sides of my paper. And as I don't have the exact brown that I would like to uh, use, I'm combining it with Distress Ink. You'll find as usual all the colors, all the name of the colors of the products or the details of the products that I use in this video on my website. quickly cleaning up my stamps and putting them away. Then this is Color Arts Radiant Rain, but this is, but this is the Dauber ver version. So this is ac actually a liquid acrylic. So as long as it's not dry, I can play around with it. When it's dried, well, it's an acrylic, so it will become permanent. So I'm trying to be quick using my baby wipe and spreading it around on top of the textured gesso. And you might think that I'm changing my color scheme, which I'm not, because now I'm going in with the blue to create my purple. So doing it in the same way. And then again, I'm going to add some of the red on top to accentuate the purple color and take away the blue. Uh, 
I'm going in with some wax paste and yes I am wearing a glove and I know you're not used to that um, but wax paste contains solvent so you have to be pretty careful and I don't want the solvent on my skin so hence the glove and I'm using the colored wax paste to accentuate the texture of the gesso and this is a new product I discovered at CHA, well it's a new product to me anyway, uh, by Pent Art. And yes, you will see more of that in the future. So I'm applying tiny bits of the paste and then rubbing it around so that it really goes into the creases of the gesso. And this will accentuate not only the purple color, but also the texture. I'm taking the excess wax away because this will take like forever plus one to dry. You also need to ventilate your room when you use these kinds of products. Going in with Color Art Silks acrylic glazing, adding a tiny bit of water so that I can add some splatters. And when you go with your heat gun over the wax, you have to be careful, of course, because the wax will melt. So I'm not heating it for too long. And as I have some uh, silk over, I'm just picking it up with a blending tool and applying it on the edges. I'm dabbing the excess uh, paint away. So, because I don't have any patience for it to dry. <laughs> and I'm adding some more stamping on my uh, quote. I want to add some wire to it. So I'm shaping it using a jar of glue. And then using tweezers, I'm making sure that it will stay in this shape. By the way, today's video is 10 minutes long and it took me 50 minutes to make my channel page. So it was a pretty quick one. And I needed to express myself, so I went in with the hammer <laughs> and I flattened my iron. Um, the other reason I did this, um, beside getting all the energy out, was to make sure that my book will still close when I'm done with it. Because the wire is pretty thick. So I had some fun with the hammer. Now I forgot to turn my camera back on. I added some silk on top of the metal to make it look rusty and I attached it using um, breads. This is a leftover piece of uh, plaster that I'm colorizing using diluted silks. And I'm picking up the excess ink with a piece of cambric so that it's already half colorized for the next time. And behind that, of course, I want my piece of colorized cambric. Now, though it's very, very tiny, I want to add some sewing. So I need to glue these together. And add some reinforcement because the plaster and the sewing machine are not that good friends. And now I can add a tiny bit of sewing. Just gluing it down using um, soft matte gel from Fenivar. And I wanted to add a little tiny heart. I also wanted to add a, a piece of metal around that heart. This is one of the drawers um, of the chest that I made for Mixed Media Place. You can find the, the link to the tutorial, tutorial on my website. So I'm choosing the one that fits best 
And again, using soft matte gel, I'm gluing it down. You can glue pretty one, put pretty much anything with that glue. So, and there you go. Hope you liked it. Hope you subscribe to my channel. Hope you clicked like on this video. And see you back next time. Ta-da!